Yeah, we're actually getting 30 frames. I actually like this phone. The phone does pretty good. All right, so people will start, you know, filtering in as we're going along. So we usually give it about five minutes for, you know, people to actually show up to the stream. Um, I don't know. What topics do you want to talk about today? Like, what is there something you're passionate about? Body positivity is a good one. Yeah. Harley that's Quinn, something... obviously. The Harley and Quinn. And I even have the tattoo. Oh, yeah. Batman and all that. That's even better. So I'm assuming you have, like, a lot of knowledge on the Batman series, anything. Or is it very specifically the Harley like Quinn? It. Harley Quinn, yeah. Harley so Quinn and Joker. Started off with a Harley Quinn abusive relationship with Joker, and then her getting out of the abusive relationship, back into it, out of it, into it. Yep. And the Just whole Suicide Squad that. stuff and Birds of Prey. I guarantee people are going to have some interesting questions about that if we get some of those fans in here. That's what I'm yeah. hoping. Um, and plus, I love the color combination red and black. Anyway. I get pissed at in inanimate objects, all right? <laughs> I'm the same too. Like I'm fussing at objects. Like no, don't you move. Stay. And then I get the weird looks on from people that don't even know me. They're like, "What's wrong with you?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. Yeah. Oh wow. That helped. Um. Oh yeah. What color would we like to go with? I mean, I do have red and black. However, they're not fluorescent. Hmm. Is the purple? The purple is fluorescent. Okay. What I'm thinking, though, is, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm thinking black uh, pentagram up top, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But for the bottom, eh, there's more black there, so it would actually go with red rope for the bottom, black rope for the top. What do you think? Yep. Yeah, because we don't need to do fluorescent on everything. Because mm -hmm. this is just a little bit too purple, because look at the shade. Turns out, ox blood kind of works with you. Yeah. So, we will get all of that out here. I'm just gonna help rope at you. There you go. Everybody just sees you in the camera taking, yeah, taking shots of rope. <laughs> to the face. I like that shirt too. Yep, and no worries. They're all going to end up on the ground anyway. Nah. And we can get cute with it. Yeah, I have shorty ropes just in case I like, I'm almost to the end of a tie and all I need is like two more feet of rope. Yeah. I have a shorty to throw on there. And yeah. one that hasn't been tied. Or, if we want to go all LGBT. Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Because that's pretty loud. I'm loud. Okay. <laughs> hey, if you're loud, you're loud. This will be plenty of rope for your top. Yeah. I'm liking it. How are we doing up here? Do we have anybody? Not surprised. It's YouTube. Um, I don't have that many people on YouTube yet. Um, Honestly, I should have just taken my chances with Twitch, uh, streamed to both, but with the internet coming in and out like it does here, probably best idea is to uh, stick with one stream and run with it. So we're going to do, yeah, you know what, no, go ahead and stop the stream, come back in and Twitch. All Good. right, we are on. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. working on the rainbow scarf too. All right, in this case, no, we're still going to go with the, we're still going to go with the pentagram, because that's, uh, that's been requested, so. Okay, folks, meet Rockhead. I am always, as al I am as always, Dr. Bolt, and uh, welcome to the rope garden. Um, we're going to do a small suspension. This is our first experience with rope all together, so we're going to be doing hip harness suspension. Same thing, military. I've gone through it in previous streams, but I should go through it again. Military, they teach you a hip harness in about an hour that they have you repel from. And yes, it's a rope hip harness. 
So all those folks out there telling you, you know, never su suspend the first time. I really consider this an exception to the rule. Now, bonded suspension, yes. You definitely need a lot of experience before you start tackling that level. Uh, which, if I can convince a couple of my uh, rope bottoms, I may actually do some really interesting ones in the near future. But for now, um, we're having a lot of fun with just content creators in the area, new people. Go ahead and say hi. Tell them about yourself. So, I'm Rocket, and as he said, it's my first time with rope. I've always been curious about it, but I was like, eh, I don't know, and then course came back to it as you see and I just have very high curiosity and I like to try new things so this is one of those things and I'm excited <laughs> and why did you go with the Harley Quinn on costume I'm obsessed with Harley Quinn <laughs> and I like the red and black combo because I think it complements each other go ahead and get started here okay. by the way do I have a uh, consent to touch it yes okay yeah. But I just like the red and black combo. I think it complements very well. And I just like Batman, Joker, Harley Quinn. Though I am still kind of new to that fan base, I just like what it's the all about. The whole concept. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a good concept. I like the dark gothic themes yeah. um, that they sort of switched over to over the years. And the darker it gets, the better. Um, I like the character, I, I, basically I like the antagonist of uh, Joker because mm -hmm. originally he was just kind of silly and stupid and then he became really psychotic and maniacal and started doing some really messed up stuff, yeah. you know, like dastardly deeds, like you'd really expect for dastardly deeds, and I um, thought they were hilarious. Yeah, I still remember... Like when I first got into Joker and Harley Quinn, like she was his oh psychiatrist. Oh my god, look what that's doing already. That's yes. fantastic. <laughs> but yeah, I was just like, yeah, holy crap, you find love in your career. Yep. That's rare. But sometimes it's beautiful when it happens, sometimes it's sour. But, and uh, sometimes it's horrifying. Yeah. Sometimes it's all three. Yep. All in all, it's pretty cool. Yeah, one of the uh, really, really neat scenes that I uh, remember from Harley's uh, comics was when she got into a fight with, what was it, was it Batgirl or was somebody? Uh, she got in a fight with them, she was in the fight, and in the middle of the fight, the uh, hero got sick. Hmm. Started puking. I don't remember. And canary. she's like, I don't remember hitting you in the, in the puke box. And, yeah, it was uh, Black Canary. Like, Black no. Canary, that's right, it was Black Canary. You remember this. <laughs> That was such a beautiful, moving scene. It ended up getting it ended up getting a lot of social media uh, press. But the uh, whole concept was uh, it was like Harley was like, "Oh, okay. Well, we were having fun in games up until this moment, and now now serious time. Yeah. Now I gotta you know actually have a conversation with you, and because I know this is a hard moment, and you know us girls gotta come together. Mm -hmm. There was like there was a sudden moment of solidarity." Yeah. That I thought was, you know, it was out of character, yet it added a whole new depth to her character. Yeah. I also like how she could be all, like, goofy and funny, like, yeah, I don't give a shit. And then all of a sudden she's like, all right, business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because remember, I mean, originally, psychiatrist. Mm-hmm. And I work with psych patients, so. That's fair. Kind of. And maybe connects. That was actually one of the fascinating things I liked about her was that she just, you know, fell in love with one of her patients and uh, found him extremely fascinating and decided, you know what, as an as experiment, let me see if I can lose my mind the same way. Yep. And, uh, I don't know, I think she kind of failed in that, but she definitely lost her mind in an interesting way. So she became her own character. And honestly, she was a throwaway character from the anime series that just blew up. Which, honestly, is a lot how a lot of people got started. Like things, yeah. honestly, like Twitch streams and everything. People playing video games online. Whoever thought that would be worth yeah. money? That's 
like the first time that I heard of Twitch was on TikTok. Somebody was like, go follow my Twitch. I'll be playing this game, this game. It's just like, okay. And whoever thought Bitcoin was actually gonna take off, you know? No. I actually just learned about Bitcoin, oh. like investing in it through yeah. Cash App. You can go to like the stock market or whatever. Don't do it. Or whatever. <laughs> Don't go to the stock market. Go to like yeah. Coinbase or go to, go to a place where you're actually buying Bitcoin and not just uh, Bitcoin that sits on the stock market. Yeah. Because what happens there is, sure, you might be able to make money off of it, but you can never actually use the Bitcoin there. Oh, yeah. Whereas if you went to like, I don't know, Coinbase or many of the other ones, yeah, you actually have a Bitcoin wallet there and you use that wallet address when you're making purchases with Bitcoin. I've never even heard of Coinbase. No, uh, yeah, there's Coinbase, Remitano, which I don't know, like that much, uh, Phoenix, uh, Crypto.com. Um, that's another one that's pretty popular. I think we got just the last few points to do now. You know what? I'm gonna go under this because I want to get the point right. This is actually oddly relaxing. It is, and the fun <laughs> part is, once I put this in, it kind of becomes a it, it becomes a posture tie. Because if you decide to slouch, you'll slowly choke yourself out. Nope, I needed this when I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> I had the lazy teenager slouch. They're like, yeah, you know how Scully does it. Just stop slouching. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I got a friend of mine who actually has scoliosis, but you know, every once in a while, send her a message just out of the blue. Doesn't matter what she's doing during the day. So out of the blue, I'll be like, stand up straight, you banana shaped fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that on a meme somewhere, and I have not, I, I, I stole it. Shameless Take it around with it. <laughs> yep, yep. I'm so excited. I'm getting more and more excited the further we go. Oh yeah, wait till you actually see this in the mirror. Because it honestly looks good with the outfit. I didn't think it would. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a little bit off for the, you know, the concept. Mm -hmm. However... You know, if I was going to see anybody from a Batman comic at a Pride Fair or Pride Parade, eh, probably be one of the top ones on the list. Yeah, because her and uh, Poison Ivy. And then Robin would be the next one. Because mm -hmm. that boy gay as fuck. <laughs> I mean, look at that outfit. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, he got some fashion sense, but them tights, baby. Honey. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying, uh, you know what, you know what, I, I can't even say he's gay, but I mean, there's got to be a little bit of drag queen in there. A little bit. A little bit. I mean, sure, Batman's Dallas, got some of that Dallas. going too, but I think that just makes him aerodynamic. <laughs> yeah. With Robin, it's either he's wearing tights or bare legs. <laughs> and it's a little leotard. Yuck. I mean, it's kind of sexy, don't get me wrong, but unfortunately, I'm tragically straight. Yeah. And yeah, I mean that. I'm actually tragically straight. It sucks. I feel it all coming together and I'm excited. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm putting a rose in the back. The back actually looks really neat too, so you're gonna like that. I'm more excited than I thought I was gonna be. <laughs> yeah, one of the things I've always hated about the pentagram ties is this big ugly knot in the back, mm -hmm. and I figured out a way to make it pretty. All right, That's all I'm gonna do is add another layer to this. I'm trying to make sure I stay out your way, though. Oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Like, a lot of this, a lot of the fun of this is just, you know, kind of being moved around. Because, uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of rope is about the intimacy. Now, since I'm doing this more as a model thing, I'm taking the hands-off approach where I'm standing back and I'm, you know, I reach around you, but I'm not yeah. embracing you like I normally would with uh, somebody that I work with on a regular basis. However, and yeah, we'll just come around this way. Um, so yeah, I'm a little standoffish about it, but there's still a bit of intimacy going on. Mm. Um, and I mean by intimacy, I do not mean anything sexual by that because it really is not. Um, I suppose it is for some people, it just never has been for me. Yeah. 
I like the art of it too. I can, yeah. I can understand that part too. Yeah, and the beautiful part about it is it's two people making art, and it's not performance art. Nope. Sorry, I have a kind of uh, sort of hatred for performance art. Mm -mm. Sort of. You know, honestly, they would probably look at this and go, eh, call that art. I call it touching people inappropriately. I mean, it is and then art. I call them, And then I call them king shamers. No. Because all you have to do these days is give a label to something, and it's automatically bad. Yeah. I love how it looks so far. Oh, yeah. What I can too. see. <laughs> I got six layers on this thing, so I'm actually going to weave through it. You know what? I'm going to weave through once here. Oh, I think I need better idea. This is going to be neat. Let's go this rope weave, weaving through this way. And then the other one weaving through the other way. That way it holds the whole thing together, and the rainbow pattern comes out really nice. I'm trying to picture it in my head, but I'm... Yeah, I'm failing. That's going <laughs> to hurt your brain skull. Yeah. Now, I'll be done with this before the Sugar Skull song is over. Everybody knows Sugar Skulls, right? Uh, basically, it was the, uh, it's the song they play during any fight scene in an anime. Oh. It's that one that starts with, that, 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 that. Oh, yeah. That's Shaker Skulls. And let's do the same thing down here so I get that little woven pattern in again. Yeah, I know I'm getting intricate here, folks, but uh, honestly, just concentrate on the conversation. By the way, if anybody has any questions for the model or myself, please feel free to ask because that's mostly why we're here is to chat with people, be all involved, you know? Honestly, a lot of the normal questions that, you would, that people would ask, you've already answered. You know, how's it feeling for the first time around, that kind of stuff, perfect. Mwah. Going, keep it going. Also, it helps that I constantly have music stuck in my head, so I'm always dancing. Mm. <laughs> That's fair. Yep. Yeah. I'm also very random, too. Wasn't that like, yeah, that, that was a, uh, that was Arthur Dent's daughter's name in, uh, in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen that movie in so long. Yeah. That's a good movie. Yeah. Very interesting. You know what? I'm just going to make this real, this roast freaking huge. That's it. Just fucking send it. Yep. No, no. no. <laughs> I'm like, I was getting cute there for a little bit, but now I'm like, you know what? The roast, the roast has got enough going on here. I just, let, let me get this part of it done. Because you're kind of anticipating way. at this point. You're like, Hi. <laughs> Come on, I know the front's done. Just let me look at it. <laughs> I gotcha. It's all good. We got this. Don't hurt me. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, like, if anybody's gonna smash me in the head with a with an oversized mallet that she got on mat hammer space, which by the way, if you know how to do that, please teach me. <laughs> um, like honestly, if I, like, all right, if you could have any superpower. I'm not saying like a superhero's set of superpowers, just one superpower. One superpower that you could have, what would it be? Hmm. I've been thinking of that actually a lot lately. It's teleportation. Yeah. So I can get Unfortunately, to uh, you only have teleportation, so like you wouldn't know where you're teleporting to unless you're doing the whole line of sight thing. Mm -hmm. And um, what if you miss? That so that, that's that's a concern because you would need also the power to make sure that, you know, you don't miss. Yeah. Because if you teleport yourself into the ground, you just you kind of explode. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's bad. Yeah. So, not saying it's a bad choice or anything. It's just teleportation might be bad. Um, I was going through the same thing. I was like thinking about a whole bunch of different ones. Super Strength was one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, I'm done with the top. So, go ahead and take a look at that mirror over there. And we get to hear her squeal a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yes. She saw the rose. Yes. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, and I actually really like how the multicolored rope looks. Mm -hmm. Like, it actually came out a lot better than I expected. We're getting pictures of that. <laughs> Bottom though, we're gonna do in red. Perfect. So let's get that taken care of. Uh, if you could, hold, uh, just pick that up and maybe put it on like one of the wraps up top or something. Just out of the way. Anyway, um, so I was going through all the different superpowers, like super strength. Honestly, what good is super strength? Once all your friends find out you have super strength, you're the first person they're going to call anytime they need to move stuff. So that's, yeah, that's going to get kind of boring. Uh, same thing with uh, telekinesis. The only thing it's good for is helping your friend move out of the house. Uh -huh. um, so. It's like that one friend that has a pickup truck. Hey, move. Move stuff. Exactly. The one friend that has a pickup truck is getting constantly called. and ah, That's got to get irritating after a while. Hey, everybody, get to look at her butt for a while. Have fun. <laughs> And, yeah, I want to go up front and I want to make the, the, it's called the Lark's Head Knot, but I, I like calling it the Trap Horse Knot because it makes a little Trap Horse up front. Now, I need to feel for your hips and I need to get a feel for your ribs, lower ribs, ah, right there. Okay. So I was like, that's kind of hard, but that's not ribs. There we go. I'm learning all sorts of knots. Yep. <laughs> This one's interesting just because of how it comes out, but it's, I don't know, it's honestly really simple and really hard to remember. Yeah. Because uh, it's a very specific um, line that it goes through, but when you actually like visualize what you're doing, it turns out that it's actually really stupidly easy. Um, uh, let's see, telekinesis. Uh, oh, telepathy. Wouldn't telepathy be wonderful? Look, I already know what about 10% of the population thinks of me. I really rather not know what the rest of them think. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty disgusted with what the other people think to begin with. Yeah. So, yeah, telepathy would get really annoying really fast. Uh, what else? Um, I'm trying to think of some other superpowers. Plus, telepathy could be very creepy at times. Being yeah. Yeah, because that's the thing. You already know what's on people's minds, and you may accidentally think they actually said the stuff. Yeah. And, and they'll then... be like, you're doing the thing again. Stop it. Yeah. And now we look for the saddle. Oh, wow. You have amazing saddles. That's perfect. And so do you. <laughs> like, the two of you got crazy saddles here. It's awesome. It just makes the tie a lot easier to work with, that's all. Mm -hmm. Do a hojo yeah. cuff here. At first I was thinking telepathy, but then I was like, oh, I don't really work. No, some people, it, no. Some people have some really, really rotten stuff going on through yeah. their head, and you're probably <laughs> better off not knowing what it is. Yeah. yeah, you really don't always want to know what's going on in people's uh -huh. heads. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you find out what's going on in people's heads, and then you're like, oh, I'm never going to get rid of that. Invisibility, <laughs> invisibility sucks because people don't know where you are, so people are constantly running into you. Mm -hmm. That sucks. Um, I always think about Harry Potter, the invisibility cloak. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, honestly, the best power, like, honest, and it's not my favorite power. My favorite power, like the power I, if I had, if I could wish for like a superpower, uh, I would wish for Domino's luck. I just want the world to be on easy mode. That's all. Oh. I was like, wait, what? Where's this going? <laughs> well, you know Domino, right? It, you, yeah. It, basically, everything she does, like, everything just kind of falls her way. Mm -hmm. Domino. Which is why she got her nickname that way. All right, my hand's going to be right up in your crotch, so just give me that warning ahead of time. Is that where it comes from? Like, you know, that? Yeah, that's honestly why 
that's that's how she got her nickname was everything falls her way. Oh, that makes sense. So that's why she's called Domino. Um, yeah, it's an old X-Force comics, uh, and I forget the comics that she originally appeared in, but first time I saw her was in the first X-Force comic. And seeing her abilities, like, happen, especially in the Deadpool movie, they did her perfect. <laughs> like, honestly, there's a whole bunch of people going, but she's white with a black spot. Who the hell cares? <laughs> Look, did they get the character right? Did they? Good? Okay, cool. I don't give a shit about the rest of it. The personality was spot on. Yeah. And the power set was spot on. And basically how she would handle herself in those situations. Mm -hmm. Spot on. They got it right. So it doesn't matter the ethnicity of the uh, person. Um, and sort of fits to a lot of people. Unless their ethnicity it falls at the center of the character, you know? Yeah. Like, I wouldn't want to see a Chinese guy playing Black Panther. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. Because a lot of what Black Panther is, is his ethnicity, it is his heritage, is his culture. So it's a big Nobody part of it. can replace Chadwick. Yeah, well, no, his sister can. Uh, what's oh, yeah, that? true. Yeah, because okay. she actually did in the comics, so. Uh, so I'm okay with that. And if that's what they Anybody do. Anybody else? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly. Watch, they get LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> you, now you're thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, eh, can, ah, it might work. Shit. <laughs> no, he's too busy doing the next Space Jam movie. Come on. I did not know that another Space Jam movie was coming out. Yeah, yeah, I bet you wish you didn't know. Come on, Space Jam had two good jokes in it. Yeah. You know, when the Tasmanian Devil cleaned up the uh, cleaned up the old basketball court, and he went, Lemony Fresh! That was cute. Yeah. Um, that one had me giggle. And then the one joke at the very end, when they, uh, when they were, when it was uh, Daffy Duck uh, saying, like, you know, what they're going to do next. Oh, yeah. Um, and then Bugs Bunny goes, what kind of Mickey Mouse operation do you think we're running here? <laughs> and I was like, okay, that was sort of pretty. Yeah. I always like whatever talking about movies. I actually play the scene in my head, and I'm just like, people think I'm staring off into space, and I'm just like, playing it in my head. I'm just like, oh yeah, and then that happened, and then before that, and, oh. Yeah, but one thing Disney has always been able to uh, be dependent on for is perpetuating hatred. Mm hmm. Because, um, you know, they used to be very anti Semitic back in the days. Now they're sort of leaning away from that, but they're trying to find other ways to make people fight with them, fight amongst themselves. Yeah. So they can run away with all the money and nobody will notice. I was actually shocked. Speaking of people being butt hurt all this stuff, they actually are done with Pepe Le Pew. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. I was like, are you serious? It, at this point, it's perpetuating outrage. It's basically, yeah. if they stop having anything to be outraged about, people will stop taking them seriously. So they have to find a new outrage. Mm -hmm. um, there's also that kid on, what was it, on TikTok that did the super straight thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, obviously the kid was, you know, a little transphobic jackass. I, yeah. I get that. He was. However, nobody would have noticed him if the whole community didn't come out and like go, oh, he's a rasher, and then suddenly everybody noticed him, and now yeah. they've got their own flag. Yeah. You know how that happens? Outrage. Yeah. Keep being outraged about things, and you're gonna keep finding people that will rise against you. Yeah, that's like the vegan teacher on TikTok. Oh, God. <laughs> she was just oh, my God. <laughs> Like, just like, it was like, just, just it's like, he's got all these facts that are absolutely wrong. Yeah. Like, and I mean, anybody, anybody with a high school education, even in government school, yeah. would know it. Gordon Ramsay even fired back on him. <laughs> that was funny. We were all waiting for that, too. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I saw something Gordon Ramsay did the other day that I thought was amazing. He went on that show, uh, what was it, uh, Hot Ones? Hot takes or something like that. Yeah, it's basically where you where, where you you ask the guy questions and then you have him eat a wing at some hotness and each wing is hotter than the last. Oh no! And it gets up to the <laughs> point where it's like ridiculous. That is for safety right there. 
And yeah, I told you, hands gonna be all up in your garage while I'm doing that one. But that one right there is basically, if I put pressure on this one, it transfers through this over to this leg so that the pressure ends up being on here. Like if I lift you this way, you'll feel it on here rather yeah. than in here. Mm. And that's the whole concept behind that. Looks cool so far. Oh yeah, plus it looks cool. And let's face it, real cool is king. Uh, but yeah, when Gordon Ramsay on, uh, was on there, it was hilarious because he bitched out a lot. <laughs> Like, he was like, uh, he actually brought an entire bag full of, like, donuts and bread and almost anything else that would soak up the oil. And, uh, started sharing it with the other guy. Um, but yeah, he, he actually had to run to the bathroom at one point. Uh, and then continued the show, because Ramsey <laughs> is, is a badass. But, um... I actually found out that if you want to watch Gordon Ramsay uncensored, you can watch Hell's Kitchen on Pluto. No sensory at all. That's amazing. <laughs> it has its own Honestly, channel. I like the sensory. Yes. Part. It yeah. has its own channel too. It's just like, ah. Uh, didn't yes. they do, didn't somebody, somebody had a really great idea for a YouTube channel and what they did was they started taking like Disney movies and other things mm -hmm. and they started censoring them um, even though there was nothing to actually censor. So they would censor them strategically to make it sound like there was some really messed up shit to censor. Uh, and I found that, uh, it was amusing. It was fun to watch. Yeah. If you're ever curious. I forget this one show I used to watch, but it, they called their, uh, their little bit unnecessary censoring. Yeah, something like that. Another fun one. So I, funny. There was, there, there was the bad lip reading. That was a fun one. I, I, I always enjoyed that one. Um, there was another one where it was basically where they would listen to songs and then make up a cartoon based on what the words in the song actually sounded like rather than what they actually were. Yeah, that's how I learned Ryan used the, the Ryan Becky song. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah misheard it was, lyrics. Yeah, misheard lyrics. That was what it was called? It was misheard yeah. lyrics? The one they did for Fallout Boy, uh, um, the one with the bullet, uh, trying to remember the name of it, but uh, yeah, the one from Fallout Boy was uh, absolutely hilarious. I think yeah. Yoda was in there at one point. <laughs> um, just missed her. Because going down. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Good catch. I had um, to you know sing it in my head. Let me fix this knot because the knot is not symmetrical. And... Not that that's anything dangerous, but it doesn't look as pretty. You know, if anybody's looking closely, they'll see the mistake and they'll be like, ah, I see the mistake. And, you know, screw yeah. you, you don't get to see any mistakes. Because hmm. my shit's on point. I still remember the part, since we're still talking about misheard lyrics. Mm -hmm. The keep it down, she's rather slutty date for Dragonista, and I was just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but like, once you're actually trying to learn the song, then you remember that, and it's like, oh yeah, that's how I pronounce it. Yep, yep, mm -hmm. yeah. I wonder if they ever did one for Come On Eileen, because if there was any song where the lyrics were impossible to understand, it's Come On Eileen. Like, the only reason anybody really knows how to sing that song at all was because Save Ferris made their version of it, which was actually kind of incredible because, hey, just watch it. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, like, it was my favorite song for the longest time, but yeah, I, I never understood a word they were saying. <laughs> I just know Come On Eileen. That's it. Yeah, That's even... all I know of it. <laughs> And then you're trying to figure out what, even the refrain, you're trying to figure out uh, what they're saying. Mm -hmm. You know, it sounds dirty because the word dirty is in it, but no. you can't be sure. Now, am I going to do, yes, yeah, I am. I'm going to add the yeah, extra layer of, uh, <laughs> and I'm going to add, add an extra figure eight in the back here to um, uh, pull these two legs together. Okay. Not, I'm not pulling your legs together, I'm just pulling the uh, the two uh, load points together. 
so that they become effectively one load point for any side suspensions. However, we're not even doing side suspensions. It's just, I find it to be a good practice to get into. Anything safety-wise. And if we can. I'm going to have to go song. There we go. It's stuck in my head. What song? Dragonista. Oh, yeah. It's going to be forever stuck in my head now. That's usually That's all right. how it goes. There's, there's earworms out there that will get any other earworm out. Yeah. Um, uh, diner? Diner at the corner? Do, 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 oh, do, yeah. Do, 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 do. Don't sing too much of it because, you know, it's copyrighted. But, yeah, that one right there, once you hear, once you hear those notes, <laughs> it's stuck. Mm -hmm. And you're not getting rid of it until you listen to American Pie. I was actually listening to that song mm -hmm. the other night. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> so my, my, this here Anakin guy, maybe better somebody later, now he's just a small fry. He left his home no, and he kissed his mom. The diner song. Hmm? The diner song. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the diner song is what you were listening to the other day. Was it stuck? Was it stuck there? No, right. that's why as soon as you started, I was like, oh, I know that song. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's stuck again. <laughs> All right. Turn it back around. we got to finish up this here to make it pretty because, let's face it, that's why we're here. Yeah, because like all the load points and all the uh, all the uh, support ties are in. So now we're just finishing up the design. And exactly. <laughs> Only the best for my Harley. Yes. I think I almost nailed his voice there. That's yes. the first time. <laughs> I actually went to NecoCon. Because let's face it, the best uh, yeah. best Joker out there. Yep. Yeah. I went to NecroCon, I think it was two, no, it was a Two years ago was, yeah, that would be. Well, yeah, a year ago was the last one. Yeah, COVID's messing me up. The COVID stuff yeah. going around. It's, it's a thing. Time is just bleh now because of it. <laughs> but, uh, um, that's, that's a good one, I like that. Yeah. Time is bleh. Yeah, I actually had a blonde wig and I had like the space buns. Mm -hmm. And one was green, one was red, and I had like this sort of lingerie, like Carly Quinn yeah. type thing, which, yes, it was allowed in public because I was fully covered. And I just had these on to just like go with it. And then it was like, okay, I'm tired of playing dress up. I just. <laughs> black shirt and the shorts and the leggings is like all right i can still be really yep and then somebody who was cosplaying joker was like harley i was like my heart yes. right i might have actually i might actually been my friend koi yeah if you're watching koi hey do you recognize this one but yeah um, and i look like the gangster joker funny thing is you do have a fashion resemblance to his wife yeah. So he might have jumped on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, yes, I'm all for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, what, what was it? One of the, uh, and this again, I, I found this in a meme, so nothing original content here because, you know, I'm a hack. Uh, but I saw this wonderful thing that a couple was doing um, at, at, a, at a comic book convention. They would run up to anyone, it, it basically they dressed up as uh, Martha and, uh, um, what's his name? Something Wayne, uh, Dad, Dad's name. For Superman? No, no, for, for uh, Bruce Wayne, his dad's name is, oh, like I should know this because I absolutely <laughs> love the, the Flashpoint uh, series. My mind Where, you know, his dad was Batman because his son was killed. Mm -hmm. And his dad was all about the guns. Mm -hmm. dad, yeah, dad just pulled out a gun and just shot people. In the nostril. Here, you need a third nostril. And you need a third nostril. Everybody needs a third nostril. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, his, <laughs> and Martha Wayne turned into the Joker. 
if you ever watch, the, if you ever look at the Flashpoint series, and I highly recommend it if you like the whole Batman thing. Um, that's exactly what it is. It's it's uh, Martha and uh, Bruce Wayne's dad. Just call him that. Um, yeah, Bruce Wayne's dad being uh, Batman and Martha turning into the Joker. And the funny thing is, once a year, they would both get together at their son's grave and mourn their son's death together. Like, they would be husband and wife again for that day, and then they'd go their separate ways and start trying to kill each other again. That sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, was, it was moving, even if it was a little bit unrealistic. Yeah. Like, that doesn't work that way, but okay, fine, you guys are crazy. And they were batshit crazy, both of them. But, I mean, Bruce Wayne is batshit crazy. Yeah. So... There is that. Oh, and don't worry about cussing because I put an 18 year older thing on here. Um, I know you're all adults because I say fuck a lot and you guys don't have a problem with it. Okay, that looks pretty freaking cool. Go ahead, show the camera and then go take a look at it. Actually, the back does look cool because I put the diamonds in. And the diamond kind of goes with the whole Harley thing. Nice. Right? Mmm. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to put her up in the air. I'm living for this. And I think we're going to use the red rope for the suspension itself. Uh, let's get a little bit more light in here though. Because we definitely did not have enough of that. How does it look? Better? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry about the little light, guys. I didn't even realize that it was getting dark out. Um, we are in lovely Virginia. Oh, let me get out of this shot. <laughs> the look on her face was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing with your life, man? Be a professional. <laughs> Thank you. You want to hold still for two seconds? Like yeah, honestly, here, here's what you do. You strike a pose. Just for a little modeling thing. Uh, you strike a pose, whatever pose you want. She will take the picture and she'll say click so you know she took the picture. Oh, that's and then you true. can go to the next pose. Right, here's a plus of having 10 foot cord. And if that you want, I can. just be a fool of myself. If you want, I can throw you into a few poses that'll work out for you really well. So go ahead and do the poses you want to do, and then... Okay. <laughs> I was waiting for the click or whatever. Yeah, just say click as soon as the picture's taken, that way she knows to go to the next position. Mm -hmm. I can't think of any other poses besides my usual. Okay. Okay. Always remember, point your toes. It makes your legs look longer. So anytime you can, point your toes. Go on your tippy toes if you can. Grab this. Now cross your legs over. Just like that. Yeah. I think I can show you from over here. Uh, bring your hands together. Hands together. There you go. In fact, if you can cross them over, that's even better. There you go. Mm -hmm. Here, let me... Sorry, let me fix this so that... These ropes are a little cleaner. Bowie. Sorry, Charlie. I'm not the only one that says Bowie. Yay! But I can do this. These kind of got knocked out of place with the. There we go. A little better. Say click. <laughs> All right. Uh, now head back. Just throw your head back. Next shot. Click. Turn to the side. And take the one hand off one side. Yep. There you go. 
profile shot. Click. All right, now eyeball the camera. Click. Now look away from the camera. Click. Turn to, uh, but towards <laughs> her. There we go. Now, um, you got your feet like this, right? What I want you to do is go both tippy toes. You can use that for support if you need to. Cross your arms over. Pop All right. Your butt out. Thrust out your chest and pop your butt. There you go. It's going to be really uncomfortable to yeah. do it. It's. It makes the picture look good. <laughs> Am I right? It, it, from this from this angle, it looks great. In fact, you should probably go profile and do the same thing you're just doing right now. So go back to the side. Uh, un, uh, point, like, you're, you're pigeon toeing? There you go. Okay. Okay, now, stay in that position. I got another picture you're going to want. Kick this leg up. Just like that, hold it, and keep your butt popped as much as you can. Good picture? Okay. All right, now go up to the wall. Cross your hands over, up above your head. Pop your butt. And to, uh, toast. Go ahead. Click. Kick up and out with one leg. And out. Out. No, I don't think she. I don't think she bends that way. <laughs> if she could, she'd be in porno movies. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about kick the other way, uh, inward. Like make a figure four. There you go, right there. And try to point the other toe. If you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. That's going to be a lot of uh, cast strength. It's a shot. Click. All right. And oh, uh, on yeah. Uh, arms down a little bit. A little bit more. Right there. Good. Head back. Actually, head like forward. Let me, man. <laughs> Right there. You saw what that did, right? Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're going to thank me later. I'll show you the difference. Mm-hmm. Quick. Good. <laughs> Sorry, like what we got I'm so far? One picture. Take a look at that. Hey, if you can, take a look at those shots before we put you up. If you can. Otherwise... Yeah, up in the air. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I can tell the difference. No. First one was really. Yeah. <laughs> See what I meant? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, here comes the fun bit. The part everybody's been waiting for. Well, everybody in the chat room, which is probably nobody, at the moment, we'll get there. I'm really excited about how this channel's going. I mean, how it went on Twitch was pretty amazing. Um, honestly, all I need for YouTube is a lot more social media advertisement, which you guys help out with that a lot. Not just you, but like a lot of the models I've been working with, huge help on that. Mommy, <laughs> 
Hey. All good. That's awesome. Look at wow. us. <laughs> if it, yeah, if anybody who didn't hear that, it was a kid just walked by. It was, it was like, Mommy, come look at this. What are you that, that was the best thing <laughs> I've encountered. <laughs> Oh well. Never too late to put it on. Especially since I'm just starting to get to that point where this is becoming sweaty work. Styling and profiling. Yeah, right? <laughs> no, it's... Honestly, the only reason I even wear this is just because uh, it helps keep sweat out of my eyes. Mm. However, it's kind of become part of the, uh, the whole look. Uh, we are going to stick it right here, and I actually like the fact that our bite is not just a double bite, it's a you know, sextuple bite at this point. And let's get this over the middle, right there, and just enough. All right, ready? This is going to feel a little weird. <laughs> Monkey time! <laughs> That's why I was excited about it. Because <laughs> I have an excuse to be a monkey. <laughs> it's not just climbing on the counters. In there. Get that through here. I'm still holding friction here, that's why it's not dropping. And try not to slap you in the face with a bunch of rope. There we go. And that just added a little bit more security to the tie. And this will be the last part of the tie off itself. Now it's just do stuff with the rope, whatever's left. Make some pretty patterns, some pretty design, whatever. Yeah, we're good. I like it. And you are far up in the air, and maybe you might have buckles to let go. Who knows? There's some photos right there. <laughs> and honestly, you probably get some video stills out of this. Uh, is the video capturing the whole body? Mm -hmm. Good. And now it's time to dance. Keep your toes pointed. You're gonna do these photo shoots, you're gonna get used <laughs> to that. It's a lot more stable than you think it is. But once you hold on to it, you'll see how stable it is. There you go. I promise it's completely worth it. Just let go. Well. Oh. Doesn't that feel cool? <laughs> Did your back just crack? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yep. You got pictures, 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 man. Take them. Have fun. Mm-hmm. I have to throw them I flick out I flick off the camera at this point. <laughs> Other way. You gotta flick off the you gotta flick off right side right side up. Otherwise it's not as cool. You gotta figure out how to get your arm in position so you're actually flicking up you gotta flick off like this. <laughs> eh, she'll get there. Grab your feet. Grab one foot, grab the other foot. 
You got to trust the rope. There's your shot right there. Because that looks sexy as hell. And you know it. Mm. Oh, I see me in the mirror too. It looks Hello. amazing. <laughs> and I actually love what it's doing to the rope. The little, the little pyramid it's making out of it. I got that thing dead in the middle. I love it. Mm. Uh, try to cross over, uh, grab each foot that way, if you can manage. There you go. Now get that. That just thinned your profile. I think I'm and what like it's that. doing to your hips is pretty cool. Sorry? I think I'm going to like that picture, though. Yeah. Because what it just did was it brought your waist in, so it makes your hips pop. Here, I'm just going to turn her around so that she's facing the camera so you can get that shot right there. And I might as well photobomb one of these. <laughs> got it? Get it? Get it? While she's still in that position. There, got it. Good. All right, play. Have fun. She'll keep taking pictures. Uh, put your feet up on the bamboo like you're walking on it. One foot in front of the rope, one foot behind the rope. Like sideways, there and there. There you go. Like, like, like you're basically doing a uh, uh, balance on it. Now put your hands out to the side as if you're balancing. Yep. Get that picture and then turn it upside down. <laughs> that Got should it. be pretty cool. Nice. Now, I'm gonna pose you in one really, really neat pose right here. This leg goes up, right? This leg goes out. Point your toe, oh, this leg goes like that, like that. Point, toes, and then uh, put your hands over your chest. Got it? That looks, you know, that looks acrobatic. Try to get it from this angle too. Uh, don't cross your legs though. So take this foot out. Like, I'm saying bring this back. Sorry. Put it back. Like this. Put it out like that. Hold that. And let's spin you a little bit right there. Get back. Oop. Back. Right there. Amazing. Like that. And you around just a little bit more. Catch that right there. I think we got our shots. How about you? Yep. You ready to come just... back? Are you ready to go back up so you can sit and swing? I want to swing. Oh, okay. yeah. swing. Have fun. Play. <laughs> At this point, I, you know, I did all the ideas that I normally get done. So now it's just you using the swing set. I'm surprised I did that that easily. Yeah. It honestly <laughs> is way less it's way less difficult than you think it is. Mm. I'm kinda stuck on this pose. It's a good pose. <laughs> anyway, so that being said. I think we did pretty well. Mission success. All right, boys and girls. Um, probably going to sign off right about now. And uh, tune in tomorrow night. We'll be at Dragon Manor. Um, Kit Kat will be there. Panda will be there. Uh, so it should be a pretty nice show. Um, oh, Cassie will be there too. Sorry, no, Raz will be there. My apologies. Uh, Raz is going to be out there. Um, and... We should have generally a good time. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and I hope you all join us. And thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching the replay, if this happens to be the replay you're watching. And uh, I'll have their information, their link trees and everything down below. Although, if you want to say it out right now, just so it's on there. Do you have a link tree yet? or Not yet. That's all right. When they get a link tree, I'll post yes. it. 
Um, I got somebody working on my video editing, but if anybody out there knows some good video editing, I can always use the help. It's appreciated. Uh, and um, Linktree for me is Dr. Bolt, all one word and all spelled out. Uh, so if you go to that link tree, it has all my links in there, including my Patreon, including all the other stuff where I'm going to be posting all of the photos from these photo shoots. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, uh, if you guys can help me keep this uh, dream running along, we're going to expand. We're going to make this thing huge. We're going to be getting people from all over to come in here, show off. I mean, if you want to learn how to do shibari, shibari studies out there. They've got a lot of good stuff. Uh, if you go on Instagram, there's a shibari cosmic study. shibari. Yeah, uh, shibari.study, I think it is. But mm -hmm. that's the uh, website, and they do amazing work. Um, I learned a lot of my stuff from them. From them. Uh, and uh, cosmic shibari, if you want to get like artistic ropes, they're amazing. Uh, the, the guy who does that, amazing for it. This, this is just kind of a chat room. You know, we're chilling out, we're talking, we're hanging out. This is all behind the scenes stuff from photo shoots. Uh, you get to water, watch a photo shoot while it's happening and you get to chat with models while they're doing it. You know, get to know them a little bit better, especially if you're fans of their work. So, and, and watch some of us be goofballs. <laughs> on top of that, some of, these, some of these models, like in this case, are models that are brand new to the entire concept and they're just starting off. So this is their early work. I so. love it. Anyway, <laughs> signing off. I've uh, delayed long enough. You guys have fun. Enjoy.